this goes here, and that goes there. Oh, oh, hi there. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a video on how to set up your garage for your motorbikes, for your ATVs, for whatever you got, for your garage. I'm going to show you things that you'll be needing, like tools and everything that you need to have it set up like a pro, like Chad Reed and Bubba Stewart and all them big shots. So, all right. So as you enter your shop, this is what you want it to look like, nice and organized. Everything is in its right spot, like so. You don't want it to be cluttered or messy or have chains hanging around or something like that. Just make sure you can walk through and make sure you don't step on anything, trip over anything. Have a nice clear path to where your motorbike's so, off. That's what you want your shop to look like for your motorbike room. You want to have all your bikes like so, all parked in here. I mean, you ain't gonna have them sitting outside or something. So you gotta park in here. Make sure some nice and clean like. Uh, don't have gas bills hanging around anywhere. Them things are flammable. But just make sure all the bikes are in here nice. Make sure the doors are locked up good. Make sure the ventilation is all good so you don't get freezing cold in the winter. And if you need to cut some holes in your wall or something in the summer. Because when nothing's worse than wrenching on a bike in hot weather. It's horrible. Here we go for the next part. Alright, so the first tip. Make sure that your bikes, all your dirt bikes, all your four wheelers, jet skis, monster, whatever you got in your shop. Make sure every single machine has no gas in it. Uh, this one's got gas in it. Let's check next one over here. Up, uh, yep, that one sounds empty. That one's good. Make sure they don't have gas in them because when a robber or burglar comes in here, they're gonna be like, "All right, time to steal one of these motorbikes." I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick this thing over. When they kick it over, I ain't gonna start because there ain't no gas in it. And they're going to be like, oh, pff, well, there ain't no point in stealing this bike if you can't ride it off. So don't put gas in your bikes in the gas tanks. When you're ready to ride, you put some gas in them. And when you park them, they run the things the dry. Next thing, I've always seen people with bench presses in their shop with the motorbikes. And I'm like, hey, man, why you got this in here? And I can use it or nothing for build muscle or something. And they're like, oh, shoot. That's there for when I get mad at, at like, I can't get a screw into my, my hole or something. Or this bolt keeps stripping out or something. So, I take my anger out on the bench press. And I'm going to demonstrate, um, let's just say that my, uh, I'm trying to tighten down the shroud bolt on my Kawasaki dirt bike. And it strips out. I come over here. Uh, I'm mad, man. It's time to, it's time to do some. Uh, uh, all right, well, uh, let's forget about it. All right, so here we go. Here's some basic tools that you should uh, keep in your shop at all times. I'll describe on what these tools here are used for. This thing right here is a little grabber thing. You can use this for if you, I don't know, drop a bolt down in your gas tank and need to fish it out. There you go. Snap it out with that. Uh, this torque wrench here, um, it's fairly a uh, decent size, but shoot, you can tighten down a, a bolt on your, um, I don't know, a, a spoke or something. I don't know, something big like that. A uh, broom. I mean, you got to keep the shop clean. And you can use it to beat off uh, burglars if they ever are stupid enough to come in your shop while you're in there. But anyway, um, a nice, fairly sized, decent, big uh, crescent wrench. 
I mean, she, yeah, who needs a big wrench like that? I don't even know why. I don't even know why I got this thing in. I don't need that. And uh, just, just a nice big wrench like that, that'll do. Uh, it fits any size bolt. Um, some, uh, what is that? Yeah, there we go. Some off. Anytime you're working in summer, it gets hot and that attracts bugs. Like mosquitoes. If them things come up in your shop and are biting you, well, shoot, I don't want to be working in a shop with skeeters flying all over the place biting me. Spray them things with some off. And a chainsaw, um, I don't know, that can be used for trimming bars if you ride in the woods like I. Trim your bar down a little bit on the ends to fit through the trees. Need to shave your seat down a little shorter. Use a chainsaw. Your uh, front fender, you want to shave it down to be like a super motard bike. Uh, shave it down with a chainsaw. There you go. So there you have it, everybody. That's what you need to have a pro set up in the shop, in the garage, like the pros, like James Stewart or uh, Bubba or Chad. All the big shots. There you go. That's how their shops are set up, just like mine here. The tools they use, they use the same thing. And, I mean, they ain't using them uh, micrometers and all them super high-tech stuff and all that. Who needs that stuff? I mean, shoot. If you got to get work done, you got to use what you got. I mean, dang up. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, uh, I can't take off on my dirt bike, but 